this is the second screencast in this series of videos. First was Dropbox and now we're going on to Google Drive. There are two options for Google Drive. The first is not the best option because it makes a copy of the actual file. Thus you're using server space and you're making your backup file larger. But I'll show you how to do it. You turn your editing on and I'm going to add it to my resource page. So I'm going to edit my resource page. Then you use the Moodle Media icon. Click on that. Find or upload a file. The file picker will open to where you were last. This time I'm clicking on Google Docs. You'll be asked to log in, unless of course you're already logged in. And then your files appear. So the first disadvantage of Google is that you don't get the folders. So you've got to rummage through here to find the video. Let's take this one. Any video format will work. And here's the second problem. You cannot make an alias or link to that file. You've got to select the file and make a copy. And then you click Insert. Now you won't see the video until you save changes. Now being an FLV file, you'll have this little enlarge screen option. So you don't have to worry about resizing the video. The second option is by far the better option because you use the embed code from Google Drive. So you're embedding the video, it stays on Google Drive and you don't have any space issue. So I'm going to edit this resource page. Now what I need is that embed code. So I'm going to go over to my Google Drive, click on the video, then under File you will see Embed This Video. And all you have to do is select this and go Copy and then paste that into the HTML. So click on the HTML, underneath that, paste and update. Save changes. And there you go. So now with this video you've got the enlarged editor so you don't really have to worry too much about size.